Today, Kevin is going to be making some boba tea. Uh, this is from Cone's Boba Box from Cone's Creamery. Uh, and this was sent to us free from Brady. So thank you very much to Brady. Kevin is going to, he has everything laid out, and he's going to show you what Brady sent us in our box. Yeah, this is what you get. So you get um, the tapioca pearls. You get... Um, you get to choose the flavors you want. So they sent us, when you buy the box, you get to choose two flavors. Um, he sent us the honeydew milk tea, which sounds really good. And just milk tea, I'm not sure which one this one is. And we'll talk about that in a little bit, all the different flavors you can get. But it doesn't specifically say which one this one is. It's just a milk tea. Then you get the jasmine green tea. Everybody gets that. And you get a pouch of the non-dairy creamer. You also get two packages of, of honey which I'll talk about that a little bit. You get two packets of Truvia sweetener. You get a tea um, basket to steep your tea in. You get the cup with a lid, and it has a hole in the top so you can stick the straw in it. It comes with a big old fat straw to suck up the boba balls. Uh, a scoop to measure out your flavoring. A stirring, stirring spoon, quite fancy looking. And then you get the cleaning brush to clean your straw. So. Um, so that's everything you get with the kit. And then you get the instruction packet too. Um, so for me, I, it was a little confusing to me because honestly, I've never, I've never drank really boba tea in a store, so I don't know exactly what to do. But basically you're gonna make, you're gonna make the green tea and then you've got enough, um, when you make it, you're gonna have enough to make either one or the other flavor when you make your tea. But the first thing you need to do is make your um, tapioca pearls, your boba, and you have to cook this. It does take 30 minutes to cook. So you can see the boba, you need five cups of boiling water, which is what I have in the pan over here, starting to boil. And you want 42 grams of tapioca boba. Since I'm gonna do two flavors at once, I'm gonna go ahead and measure out um, both measurements at the same time. So I need 42 grams. And I don't know how much this is gonna be in here. They're like little rubber balls. <laughs> well, I'm going to 80, um, 84, so I think I can fit it all in there. You can make this ahead of time from what I've gathered. Um, you can make it up ahead of time as long as you put it in a syrup mixture and put it in the refrigerator. It'll last for like three days. So just know you can make it up ahead of time. So once my water starts boiling, I'm going to pour this into the boiling water. You're going to stir it every 10 minutes and you're going to cook it for 30 minutes total. One thing I forgot to mention just really quick. Once you pour your boba in there, once it's boiling, you put the boba, the, the pearls in there, turn your heat down to medium and then let it boil for 30 minutes. Okay, so these have been boiling for 10 minutes, I mean 30 minutes. Um, they're not black. I was expecting them to be black because every boba we've seen has been black. These are not black, they're golden. And it does say golden boba or golden on the package, so I guess they're just different. So what I've got now is I've got a strainer that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take these out and strain them and rinse them under cold water and then knock all the water off and just put them in this bowl. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So this is the boba rinsed off and just strained. And I did, uh, remember this is two servings. So technically, sorry, I couldn't open the honey with my fingers. Um, you can use one pack of honey for, um, I'm gonna use it for just both of these. It doesn't say, it just says add it to even one serving, but they only give you two packets. So I don't know, I don't know how they expect you to spread it out, but it just has to be in a, a, sir, a, a sugar syrup uh, to make it last longer, basically. So I'm just going to stir this up really good. So how many servings will you, will this box make completely? It's five of the cups. So the big cups that they give you, it's five of these. They say, it, if you look on the website, it says it makes ten servings, which equals five of these. Okay. So okay. it's five of these filled up, but the, I guess you could divide that up into two servings per cup uh -huh. uh, for that big cup. So anyway, that, that's how they measured out. So that looks like quite a bit. So now I've got water on boil for my tea, and I'm going to show you how to do that next. Okay, so I've just got a measuring cup. Just any cup will do. So I'm going to take my green tea and rip it halfway. <laughs> And you're going to put it, um, it says to put uh, 12 grams. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to get a spoon out. Which 
should have done that ahead of time. And I'm just gonna fill up this little basket. Can you hold that basket, camera lady? Yeah, I think that's probably good enough. And then you close this and you align this little, there's got a little pin on it. Right there. And then you just close this. And then you, I'm gonna put two cups of water in a measuring cup. Like I said, it can be a cup. And then you're just gonna put this in there and you're gonna let it um, steep for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes and it said five minutes exactly. Very specifically said exactly. So I'm just gonna take this out and just, I'm gonna lay it on this napkin real quick. So now you wanna take this and pour it into your cup. And you want to take, we're gonna try the honeydew first. So, and you wanna put a couple cubes of ice in here just to cool it off. Um, Okay, now you want to take um, of the flavoring. So I've got two. Like I said, I've got the honeydew milk tea and I've got just the milk tea. You want to do of the flavoring, you want three scoops of flavor powder. And like I said, they give you the scoop, so that's cool. So three, ooh, that smells good. Three of these. I need two of the non-dairy creamer. Stir that up really good. And I'm also gonna add my Truvia packet of sweetener in here. And actually, um, it doesn't say this, but I've watched um, them do this. You add enough water in there to cool it off until um, it is uh, full, and then you add your boba. So let me go add some water to this real quick. All right, so now I'm gonna add like half my boba. That's it, it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm making another batch of tea. Since we have two flavors we're trying at the same time, I have to make two batches. So the tea, another batch, I've put new tea in there. It's steeping for another five minutes. Um, I don't have, we, they only gave you one cup with the kit. You can buy additional ones off the website if you want, but since most of the time you're only gonna need one. So what I'm gonna do is, since you already see what this one looks like, I'm gonna pour it into this um, this Yeti cup. Actually, this is not a Yeti, but anyway, this big tumbler. I'm gonna pour this into this tumbler and we'll just drink it out of this because this is the only other container we have that's that big. So uh, I'm gonna wash, pour it in there, wash it, and then it'll be ready for the next batch. All right, same process. The tea has been five minutes. So drain it out the best you can. You can use a plate or whatever for that. And then I'm gonna pour the, the tea into the cup. Add your ice to cool it off. And you can add bigger pieces of ice. I just don't have that much ice. That's all the ice I've got. Um, and then we want to add the um, two or three scoops of the flavor. So that's, uh, the next one is just milk tea. Again, I don't know which one it is. It doesn't say, it's just milk tea. Two things of the creamer. Stir, ah, my stir, I, didn't, I forgot to wash it. Let me give this the biggest spoon. Add your package of the sweetener. And they only give you two packages of sweetener. I guess you just put your own sugar or sweetener in there for future ones. And you're gonna add the last of your boba pearls. Right now. <laughs> I, I'm gonna show you the lid. The straw just goes up through the bottom. It's a, like a rubber gasket. You slide it right in there and it screws on and you're and you're ready to go. Now, if we were at Ashley's house, our daughter, she probably has 20 of these. <laughs> I don't know if they would have this really big straw. That's the That's thing of it. Thing. We, we have some tons. big straws and stuff, yeah. but they're not that big. That has to be big enough to get the little balls up through right. that, so. No, this is, yeah, this is a fat straw. So let me just tell you the flavors that they have. 
They have you, when you order the kit, you get you get to pick two flavors. Yes, yeah, so they have honeydew, taro, lavender, coconut. Uh, um, Hakido. Hakido. Sorry, Hakido, matcha, and Okinawa. Uh, those are the flavors they and have. That's what I was saying when we did the milk tea. It just said milk tea, so we don't know which ones of those we got. So, we have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. So. So we'll just uh, try to explain to you what it tastes like. Right. Why don't you go first? Okay. I... <laughs> She's scared. <laughs> Did you get any of those? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I can tell you, this one's still warm. They're chewy. It goes brr, brr, brr. <laughs> They're very thick mm -hmm. and chewy. Um, it's still warm. What I wish, if if I had, I, I'm I literally, literally chewing them. Yeah, you have to just chew. Is that how you normally yeah, do? They're chewy. Um, you really want to put more ice in it to cool it off. That that's really what you want to do. It's food in a drink. It's it's odd. It's it's, it's very odd. It's food in a drink. I love the flavor though. I do too. The flavor <laughs> of the tea itself, without the without the little balls. Food in a drink. I don't think. I've Pull it up to where you're not getting that, just to where you're getting tea. I like, I actually like those. I know, but just get the tea by itself and see what you think. Mm -hmm. It's got a I nice like flavor. It. Um, we, I've had this flavor before. Um, but there's no telling which one that is. I mean, who knows? No, no. Um, I think this is the matcha. I think this is. It kind of has that kind of. I flavor. think this is probably the matcha is what we were given. Although now, it's not as earthy. And no. grassy as much because much tea usually is very grassy. What I like about this is, uh, first of all, <laughs> it's just we've never done this before, so you have to realize that I probably sound like a crazy person right now, but you're getting a first hand time experience. Because the only bubble tea we've had is in like a, a drink. A can. We've a bought can. cans. That's right, and it and, wasn't as good. Uh, so, so when you suck that up through that straw, you're getting the experience of these, all these little bubbles. And these, they're a lot bigger in your mouth than they yes, seem. Yes, they are. they don't look very big, but when you get them, a couple in your mouth, you're like, wow, yeah. those are really chewy and so it does taste very very sweet yeah and i mean it's not overly sweet but yeah. it's definitely sweet it's it's like our coffee we drink in the morning yeah we add uh creamer and sugar to it so it's that level of sweetness but then you swallow the drink and then you get to eat <laughs> you, you get, get to chew, to chew. A little bit. yeah you get to chew those uh the boba and that's that's the coolest thing i yeah, actually really like that so um so we like this I have to go wash the straw because like I said, it's yes. the only straw we have. We'll be right back. So this is, we washed out the straw. This yep. is the, the honeydew. I wonder how, and, and this is just how my mind works. I wonder how many calories each one of these has. I don't know. Because you are getting to, to eat. <laughs> well, we don't know how many calories are in the little packets mm -hmm. of sweetener. Did you get a bunch of them? Mm -hmm. um, we don't know how much calories is in the scoops of stuff you put in there, and we don't know how many calories is in the actual boba, so. That's the neatest thing, I think. I love that it's like glub, glub, glub as it's coming up through there. Mm -hmm. I can't, ex and it's, it feels that way. Um, but then I love being able to eat those. They're kind of chewy, almost like a, Again, this one's warm. I wish I had better, more ice to cool it off a little bit. We we don't. We don't typically keep ice, keep ice because we drink bottled water a lot, or Kevin's drinking out of a bottle, and so we don't keep ice in the house. Um, if we know we're going to need ice, then we'll make some. Yeah, and I I, I just, just forgot. I that. forgot. Yeah. yeah. Um, did it tell you in the instructions to use ice? Ice. Yeah, okay. it did. And see, it says four, th two to four ice cubes, and you're making the tea. Ah. Uh, I just, I forgot. Um, you know what? I like it warm though. It's still a good warm, but it would, mm. if you like a cold drink though, what do you think of the honeydew flavor? I love the honeydew flavor. It's very good. It's very. It um, tastes like honeydew. It's, yes, it tastes like honeydew. It tastes very, very fresh. Uh, what I was uncertain about was the jasmine tea. I wasn't sure, like, was that going to be too strong? It's actually, v like, 
non-existent. Non you don't really yeah, get the tea. you don't really. This get you it. get the tea flavor because you've added that milk tea powder in there. But oh. there's so much like sweetness in that, mm -hmm. and and don't forget you added the honey to the boba. The boba, yeah. Um, so that is adding some sweetness too. Mm -hmm. I think this is awesome. I, yeah, I think they, they're, they're really good. good. I know now why people go into these boba stores and order these. Yeah, now you know it's safe to order them. You, the be only, happy with it. well, the only thing is, is if I was going to go to one of these places, I would be looking up how many calories is in that. Yeah. Because I want to know. We, like to, we, we both watch our calories. Yeah, some, I, I watch them not, not as much as she does, but, but I we do watch, watch them, them to the point where we, we're aware. So, yeah. we, like, we don't keep track and, like, limit honestly we don't limit but, we're but we aware. just we're aware yeah and so i just like to be aware um, so i think this is a good kit the um, kit is fifty dollars it's fifty dollars but you get the cup the straw the lid the scoops the, the spoon, two flavorings the spoon uh, the cleaner two, two flavoring packets the tea this this the strainer whatever it's called um you get all that with it and you mm -hmm. get two packs of honey the only thing i would suggest Mm -hmm. to them is if this makes basically five servings of this mm -hmm. then put five packets of the honey in there yes and five sweetener packets that's why it's a complete kit i know that's a minor thing right but like we don't have honey in the house um no so so if that's supposed to have honey then then i wouldn't have that I would if have we do, it's them. hidden up there somewhere, yeah. and I've used it for baking, and I've forgotten about it. But I'm it. just saying, not everybody necessarily has honey, so I would exactly. put enough honey in there to make sure you've covered everything in the To package. call it a complete kit, right. make sure that you have enough of every single item yeah. to make... To five make servings. five servings, yes. or five cups, yeah. Um, because this thing, is a fairly new company, that's why yeah. we're saying this. Same, same thing with the sweetener packets. If it, if it's if that's if you're requiring a sweetener pack per cup and it makes five cups, put five sweeteners. Put packets. five sweeteners. Um, well, it's not a new company. These at home this boxes. This kit is the fairly. Kit new. Is it's new. only been out like two or three weeks. Yes, the kit. Is, the kit's pretty new, mm -hmm. and it it, uh, it the company has. You've been able to go into the shop and order these, and they want you to be able to have the ability to do it at home. And it's successful. I mean, it really did make it. It, okay. it takes some time to boil the the. The starch thing, the boa, but but you could go ahead and do the entire bag of boba. So like because it does take a half an hour. Period. You could go ahead and make the entire bag, and you can freeze them. Yeah, or you can put it in the refrigerator for I think it was three seventy two. I wrote it 72 down seventy two hours, so about three days. Uh, you can refrigerate them for up to seventy two hours. Yeah. Or you can freeze them and they're going to last longer. So you boil them, you strain them just like I did. You put mm -hmm. it in a bowl, you mix it with the honey. So I would just use, if I made the whole package, I'd just probably just use both packages of honey in there. Yes. Stir it all up. But it only lasts for like three to four days mm -hmm. in the refrigerator. So just keep that in mind. You would have to drink it within the three or four days or right. it's going to go bad. Um, but yeah. you can live off that. <laughs> I don't know if there's enough protein it's in the lid. It's food in a drink. Who knew? It's, it's, <laughs> It's actually tapioca starch, so I don't think you can live off starch. But it's it's really good though. It does I love it. Chew that. Um, what what honestly what I'm wondering if you go in the shop, are these the flavors that they offer in the shop too? Oh, they might offer more actually. Because yeah, because I'm wondering, do they do these in uh, just? It seems like when we tried it, we might have had like a vanilla, but it seems like they would have raspberry and strawberry and just yeah, all, all kinds, kinds of different stuff. flavors. Yeah. Um, I thought he had said, because I watched a video when he was talking about it on a news show, and um, I thought he said something about a raspberry or something, but they oh. didn't mention that. So so, the, so they have one, two, three, four, five, seven flavors right now for you to and choose you pick from. two of the seven. But who knows? They may expand that then. And if you, I guess if you really like, because it's got a drop down box to pick the flavor. If you really like just the honeydew, I guess you could order two packs two, of the honeydew. Two of the honeydew yeah. and, and, and double it, yeah. That honeydew would be good without the boba completely. Just the drink itself would uh -huh. be good, especially if it's cold. It would yeah. be excellent because it's got a, well, and the tea, honestly, the boba is just for texture. It doesn't add any flavor or anything to it. It's a neat concept. It's a different experience. It is a different experience, you. but I'm it's, just saying it really doesn't add to the flavor, really. Uh, so you could drink either one of these without the boba if you really you could, wanted to. But it's it's fun, is what it is. It is. It's, it's just fun. fun. <laughs> it's fun it's to different. drink. Uh, so Brady, thank you very very much uh, for sending these uh, to us. I hope you all will check them out. It's uh, 
uh, Cones Creamery, and I will put a link below this video if you all want to check them out. If you do, we get nothing out of it. No, we're just, uh, they just sent it to us to try. Yes, they sent us the box to try to show you what's available because it is new that they've started doing this at-home kit. So if you order from them, we won't know, uh, but you can certainly check them out. Mm -hmm. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.